probably isn't going to work. We'll try it. But it'll work. We'll make it work. Oh, excellent. This is where things get interesting. working on here. This is my bank of batteries now. A little more vertical than it was before. Makes it a little bit higher, a little bit more out of the way. Why am I doing this? Well, you'll see in just a moment here. So this is why I built that battery box. It's down here, under the bed. And you notice the bed is now in the back. <laughs> I, I've always been a a big uh, supporter of putting the beds lengthwise along the van, side of the van there. sitting So you can sit on the bed and uh, do stuff at the kitchen counter, things like that, while you're doing that and not have to have another chair. But, you know, I'm having a change of heart. I Just out of curiosity, grabbed my camping cot, which is what I'm sitting on here, and tried putting it uh, across the back of the van just to see how it would fit. And um, I was <laughs> pretty surprised at how well it fit. If I squished the uh, mattress in there, it was a little bit of a tight squeeze, but the mattress did fit. And this, I got uh, plenty of ceiling height here. I could go up a little bit more, not much. <laughs> I can go up another couple of inches probably and height give me more storage space underneath. But I am going to be putting insulation paneling here and a, some, some uh, thin plywood up top here to create a ceiling. So I'm going to lose a little ceiling height there. But I got a little bit of space here. This could work. This could work very well. I'm going to try it on my next trip, my first trip of the season, just to see, see how it goes. So you can see i got to kind of get some big gaps here and over here because I don't have furniture that will fit in all that space. But if this design works out here, and I think it's going to work out pretty nice, uh, I think I'm going to keep this design here and I'm going to build out the furniture to match the design. And I'll do what I'll do is I'll do my kitchen on this side. So when I've got the fire pit over here, out the side door and everything here, I can sit at the kitchen here and... I'll have my stove, a, a small sink, lots of food storage underneath, and on this side, I'm actually going to put in like a desk, a desk area that I can work at. With my computer, I'll have my 27-inch monitor eventually mounted up here, so I can see it from the bed or from the desk. Uh, and I'll have some storage space behind there for clothes and other stuff. This will substantially increase the storage capacity of the van and open it up a bit more. Yeah, it's not a perfect setup there. Some of the stuff I wanted to do isn't going to work as well as I had originally envisioned. I was going to have my, be able to sit in the bed, have the TV up there, a couple of speakers on the sides up there, and have a nice little sound set up there going. But we'll adapt it. We'll make it work. And we're going to have some fun with this. But as you can see, uh, I can actually completely stretch out in this bed with no problem at all. It's great. And if I decide I need more space in the future here, I've got enough room here, I could probably extend it out to a twin-size mattress, too. They give me a bigger bed if I feel I need it. So yeah, this is going to be a good setup. I think this is going to be a good change here. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out on the first trip here this season, just see, see what it does. And uh, if, if it goes the way I think it's going to go here, yeah, we're going to finalize and keep it this way. So, But now i got the batteries under there. Biggest problem is, is that... Uh, I don't think I can get the bed high enough to fit the propane tank under it. I'm not totally sure if I want to be sleeping uh, on top of a propane tank anyway. <laughs> but uh, So we're going to have to figure out that little bit of a logistic there so I can keep the uh, furnace running. Obviously I'm not going to be installing the furnace in this corner if I do this, like I was originally planning to do, so it will be under the cabinets over here instead someplace. But that's not a big deal. 
I think it'll actually make fur the furnace install easier because I won't have to do any ducting. I can just have a direct vent into the space like it was intended for, to designed to be done. So I'm heading out a week, in a week to uh, Hancock Campground again, and we'll we'll test it out, see how it works. So next, I want to start. Uh, I want to see if I can put a board on this wall right here, so I can mount the charge controller here, so it's not just floating around in the back of the van like it was before either. So it'll be mounted there, maybe put the carbon monoxide detector next to it. So let's see if we can make that work. So it's been a couple days since the last clip. I made quite a bit of progress in that time though, <laughs> as you're about to see. We have a lot of stuff in here. We got some window blocks. We got the bed all made up. The biggest change in here. We have lighting. Not that we need it right now, because there's plenty of sunlight coming in. See, I got the uh, charge controller and the carbon monoxide detector mounted there. I'm actually going to mount that power strip uh, up there too before I'm done. So, I think it's coming along pretty nice, but we're actually going to take some of this out again today. So you may be asking, why did I go through all this work setting the stuff up here? Just to have to take it out again. Well, I had a slight change in my plans for the design. So, uh, yesterday it was raining most of the day. And I realized something there. that The campgrounds I head out to, most of the places that I'm set up in, are not going to be on pavement. going to be on dirt and mud and things like that on those rainy days. And the floor in this van is plywood. So it's basically just the subfloor. So I'm going to be tracking mud and dirt and other stuff onto this plywood here. And my, my ultimate plan was to build up the cabinets and things like that, and then put some flooring down. Uh, but that's going to probably be, I mean, this is a temporary setup, but this is going to be a long-term temporary setup. So we're probably talking a couple of years before I'm ready to really put the flooring down. Because it's going to take time to buy the materials I need. It's going to take time to build it all out. Uh, probably have to get some new tools along the way, things like that. I gotta get all the insulation up, all that stuff before I can even start the uh, cabinets. So, it's a, it's a fair amount of work. I'm working on just my free time and with limited budget, so it's gonna take a while. So I decided uh, to go out to Home Depot last night and I bought a roll of vinyl flooring, vinyl flooring sheet that I'm gonna be putting down. So I want to get that down today here where we get the sun out and things are drying off again here. So I don't have to worry about tracking mud in. It'll be a lot easier to keep it clean and stuff. So that's going to be what I'm working on today. Looks like a flaw now. Oh, there it is. Wolf Van Jack has a flaw. Actually, it looks really good. I'm happy with how this came out. It's going to be a lot easier to clean, a lot easier to keep the wood protected underneath there, the subfloor. So, this will be good. Didn't quite go all the way to the back, as you can see. But good enough. And I screwed up in a couple of spots in the cutting and things like that, but but it's fine. This will work just fine for me. So the next project, before I put everything back in, I want to try to raise the bed up an inch or so, a couple of inches. Give me a little bit better storage capacity underneath there. I can fit my water tanks and stuff in at least, so. Don't know how well this idea is going to work. I'm going to try just cutting out some uh, pieces of 2x4, or actually 2x3 is what I have. And just placing them under the 4 feet and just see what happens. Might work, it might not.
<laughs> yeah, this works. A little ceiling height here, but. <laughs> uh, uh, bed's plenty stable still. So, yeah. All right. Quite there. Yeah. <laughs> in there. Door still closes. Perfect. So this is pretty well the finished temporary layout for Wolf Van Jack. Let me give you a quick uh, tour around here. We've got the entranceway there. And then there I'm going to be the fridge is going to be in that spot again. This is going to be all my food and stuff like that, like it was before. This really isn't changing any. But over here, eventually, I'm going to have the a counter that extends all the way out to the bed. Uh, the drinking water supply, tools, things like that. And this side, I'll be where the toilet's going to be set up. The grill. The coffee maker's inside here. i got to clean this off a bit. Uh, propane, butane, the dishes are in here. Yep, my guitar's in here again. It's nicely right there. Got my charge controller. Well, obviously, I gotta keep this curtain off these things. But charge controller is down here. CO detector, power strip. Got my 300 watt power inverter down there. Eventually, I'll get a bigger one. And here we got my drone, my heater, all my canopies, and that, which I can be easily pulled out from the back. All right, whoops. <laughs> we head out to the back of the van here. Obviously my temporary curtain system here, which is just using blankets right now, needs some work. But again, like I said, I got access to the canopy and that, and my bathhouse, chair, the two, my two seven gallon water tanks, my master, my antenna, hot water system for washing dishes. My bank of batteries is over here. Some lighting, my emergency tent. There goes my mask. <laughs> Need some work, but it's coming along. So that's the basic setup here. Simple, it works. It'll, it, it will be doing some improvements as we go along, trying to build things out. Obviously I want to build out walls. I've got to get uh, some insulation up on the ceiling, get that all built out, put some 12 volt lighting, because right now this is 120 volt AC lighting, so I'm running, have to run the power inverter. So that's the lighting there. See, just enough room for to sit up here in the bed. No, no, it's pretty close, but it works. So I have to decide which side the kitchen's eventually going to ultimately be on because we get the two benches here, two counters there. Uh, decide what I want to do for a stove ultimately. Right now I'll just be using my little butane stove again. That works. But I think this is going to work out pretty nice. So I like this configuration here. I do need to find a small stool to put in the middle aisle there so I can sit on while I'm cooking and stuff, but I like to find something that almost looks like a mini bar stool with a rotating seat on it so I can spin around inside and get to both sides of it pretty easily. I'll have to figure that one out, but overall I'm, I'm quite happy with the results here. So, so the next task is to uh, get some gas. So I know this is probably a long shot. I don't exactly have a huge subscriber base or very exciting videos there that people want to support, but uh, at the cost of gas these days here, uh, any help would be great. So <laughs> I I set up an account with a program called Buy Me a Coffee. Uh, they they allow you to give small donations to uh, play setups like myself here, trying to run these uh, YouTube channels, things like that. And uh, I've actually got it set up for a Buy Me a Gallon of Gas. <laughs> so so if anybody wants to help out. Uh, help me purchase some gas for this van. It does have a 35 gallon tank and at best gets 17 miles per gallon, so yeah, any help would be great. So if anybody wants to help out on that, uh, you can just go to buymeacoffee.com slash lwwolf and I get the address here on the screen. It's also uh, there's a link in the, de the description of this video. But if you want to go on there and uh, help out and buy me a gallon of gas, that would be awesome. <laughs> I'd appreciate the support here. Uh, otherwise, uh, with that, we'll uh, stop this Van Build uh, video here, so thanks for watching. 
Next video here, we're heading up to Hancock Campground. Yeah, first adventure. Anyway, remember, slow down and enjoy life, and we'll talk to you guys later.